Let me give some examples. Let me take four type of batteries, two kilowatt hour battery and I will not take into account temperature and usage pattern. I will assume whatever is given by the manufacturer that it is giving 1200 seconds, I will use that huh? because otherwise it will vary from what temperature pattern that I use, what usage pattern that I use and but this gives you a kind of a ballpark figure. Let us take one battery which is a very low cost battery. It is a very low cost battery. This could be a very low cost NMC or uh, could be LFP. So, it is a 2 kilowatt hour battery pack effective cost per kilowatt hour I have assumed as, as low as 10,000 rupees. This is the pack cost. So, cells plus everything we are getting there 10,000 rupees this is close to that and it is a 1000 cycle it does not give you too many cycles 1000 cycles is already a high and with 90 percent DOT and let us assume it can do 1.5 times charge C rate. This is incidental this will not be used in the computation. Let me take a second battery it costs slightly higher 12,000 but gives you 2000 cycles. Hmm? I have just used this uh, for computation. Then let me use a third battery which is an advanced NMC battery. It costs much more 18,000 rupees but it gives me 5000 cycles hmm? and it can uh, enable higher charge discharge. One would say well this gives you only 1000 cycle this 18,000 rupees gives you 5000 cycles is so much better. We will show you what is good or not good. It is very important to understand battery 1, battery 2, battery 3 and we will also take one more battery where the cost is very high 35,000 rupees double of that 18,000, but it will give me 10,000 cycles. Huh? So, one huh? and it can of course, give me higher charge recharge rate. So, which one should I use? This is a question that all of you ever working in electric vehicle will come what battery should I use and the numbers I have given you can change the numbers. Let us do this computation. How will you do this computation? We have used the expressions that we have just derived and we will use the PMT or that long expression and do that. So, to understand the impact of interest rate we take first two batteries battery 1 and 2, 1 and 3 this is sorry this is a battery 3 this is the battery 3. So, this is wrong this is a battery 3 huh? and depth of discharge is 90 percent I am assuming end of life is 80 percent in both of them and look at this as a function of interest rate. You look at it battery 1 costs per kilowatt hour. 12,000 rupees, 2000 cycles, sorry battery 1 cost almost 7 rupees. Battery 2 of course, this is 2000 cycle, this is 5000 cycle, this cost much less 4 rupee 50 paise per kilowatt hour, when the interest rate is close to 0 percent, when there is no interest rate. What has happened? I have divided 12,000 by 2000 and I have divided 18,000 by 5,000 that is when the interest rate is 2 percent. Hmm? So, from there I have computed this ratio, but let us look at what happens as the interest rate keeps on going up. The two curves are merging and at some interest rate this battery 1 will become cheaper. This is something counterintuitive. The point is when you pay up front low amount, the interest cost is low and the interest cost will be there all throughout the life of the battery. On the other hand, if you pay a higher amount, even though it lasts for longer time, so one will say that effective cost should be lower, but the interest cost will kill you high upfront interest cost can kill you. Huh? Of course, this will kill you only around 18 to 20 percent interest. I am just showing you the trend. It is important to learn the trend. 
see the impact of interest rate as I pointed out at 14 percent interest rate that 790 for battery one becomes 11 rupees. But for the second battery it is worse. Huh? You start with 5 rupees at 2 percent at 2 percent start with 5 rupees, but at 14 percent it is 1022 it is almost the same. Hmm? And if I had done 16 percent 18 percent you would have seen the crossing. Important to understand we do not upfront capital cost skills. Now, this is an important lesson for many many reasons. You know in the west in Europe, United States, Japan most of these countries interest rates are closer to 2 percent. Now, the interest rate does not matter too much, it does not impact the decision. And they take decisions saying, well, obviously, I will always use green battery, no question of even considering the red battery. Makes sense to them. Then they come as big experts to country like India, most emerging market countries where interest rates are high and give talk, oh, this is so much better. And unfortunately, in our mind, we have got so enslaved. And this is unfortunate that even after 75 years of independence, we still say, say well, they are telling they must be right. We do not even apply a simple computation like this and just choose that. Basically, this is a common sense. If you are, and at least all of us, educated persons, should know that high interest rates are very damaging. And we need to have take our own decisions based on our computation. But unfortunately, you go to Niti Aayog, you go to top people, you go to ministers, they do not understand this or they do not want to apply. They are capable of understanding, they are very capable, but they do not apply their mind. So, this is uh, the detail. Now, I take all the four batteries. And I take 12 percent interest cost and now I look at it which battery is better and I do the same usable life cycle charge discharge depth of discharge end of life and then I calculate battery cost per kilowatt hour. So, battery 1 though initially it cost me less it at 12 percent interest rate it is 14 rupees per kilowatt hour. Battery 2, which is slightly better, the more cycles gives me 9 rupees. Battery 3, of course, works out well. Battery 4 works out worse, though number of cycles are very large. Hmm? Okay. And the cost is quite high. Even battery 3, which is lowest, is 7 rupees per kilowatt hour. Well, it is not really bad because 7 rupees per kilowatt hour you add to that let us say 5 rupees for charge and discharge electricity cost 12 rupees per kilowatt hour and a 1 kilowatt hour will give you in a car 8 kilometers. Huh? So, you are talking about all rupee 50 per kilowatt hour including the cost of the battery. So, it is a very very low compared to petrol cost. Petrol cost will be 10 rupees per kilowatt hour. Hmm? And so, but if you land up doing wrong battery, which we very often do, because we have not thought through the interest rate, we get hurt. So, this is what I am talking about. Uh, um, LTO battery, which works out very well at 2 percent interest rate, does not work out well for us. This is an important lesson, and we will discuss this in greater detail when we talk about large battery for the grid. Note that battery cost does not include the cost of electricity, which you will have to add. As you will see in next interest rates makes huge difference. So, battery usage cost depends not just on capital cost of the battery, but also effective life cycle and heavily on interest rate. Now, this example I have not shown you as bad. Later on I will show you it gets very bad. 
Hmm? But the computation method will be the same. Hmm? Battery usage cost helps us compare different batteries with different capital cost and life cycle given an interest rate. Interest rate different difference between the West and Indian yields very different result. This is why I am repeatedly emphasizing that because the interest rate is 2 to 3 percent there, interest rates are very high. We all this is something that we do not forget and our decision should be based on our interest rates. Some uncertainty in life cycles in actual usage condition further complicates the actual usage cycles will be less. Enhancing life cycle reducing capital cost more important in India to make the EV affordable. This is what I am giving as a small module which will finish the battery cost of course. The we will talk about charging batteries briefly, but this is very brief. So, what I will do is that now I am going to switch over and discuss the next chapter the charging.